I get a lot of students who like to draw buildings like this where you have a building in two-point perspective in which the pitched roof of the building intersects at uh, a point in the middle and so you end up with uh, a roof that has kind of a valley going down the edge there's a diagonal valley here and then an intersection of two pitched roofs and the question is how do you find where that intersection should be how do you know where to end one roof and start the other how do you find that point well I'm going to demo how to do this kind of intersecting pitched roof um, in this video and I think this will help you to understand how to construct these kinds of things so first I'm going to draw the uh, building itself and I'm going to start with the base or the footprint of it on the ground plane and so basically you want to establish your L shape using vanishing point or lines coming from your vanishing points on the right and the left and keep in mind this is two point perspective so we have two vanishing points here and we're going to um, establish the footprint such that we know what the shape is going to be when we build up from it and this establishes kind of the what you know what it looks like on the ground uh, before you proceed to the next step I strongly recommend kind of erasing the parts of the guideline that are gonna end up getting in the way so pull back the guidelines a little bit it's a good idea to keep your drawings clean and neat anyway because perspective can get very uh, messy very quickly and it's it's a technique that requires precision so the more precise you can be with your lines and the more neat and tidy you are just in general it will save you a lot of headache so we have our footprint now we need to figure out how tall we want the building to be I'm gonna make it relatively short and um, so I've just drawn a vertical line to establish the rise of the building and I'm gonna work from that line to basically create the vertical edges at the rest of the corners. So I'm going to go just going to go around the shape. So from this one side I draw this right hand edge of the building. It shares the same vanishing point as the base and then I take a vertical up from this corner to find where those two lines intersect and they intersect right here so I know now that that is where I can draw a line from this vanishing point to establish the right hand top edge of this wall and then from this lower corner we take a point up to find where that intersects and we find that the intersection is there so that's going to establish the top of this right hand interior wall and then we have this interior vertical let um, corner here uh, the kind of the inside of the L shape and so and then we know the next next wall is established with the same vanishing point as the lower part of the base if you're always unsure if you're ever unsure which vanishing point to use think about which edges and lines are parallel to one another and use the vanishing point for the edges that are parallel in reality because they're going to recede to the same vanishing point in perspective okay so we're working our way around like this to establish the uh, basically draw again the um, the L shape only this time you know raised up so that we're drawing the rise of the building so there we have the basics of our building down and once again I would recommend going back and pull back the guidelines it's going to help you to see the shape pop into focus and um, sometimes that is hard to do um, if you leave the guidelines in sometimes uh, another trick you can do is just to kind of step back from your work every so often and look at it from a distance and that often helps to see what's going on um, now I know in advance because I've done this before that I don't need these lines so I'm going to erase these lines because these are just the interior um, lines defining the intersection of those two rectangles and um, the top part of it and I don't need that I do need this square that's on the ground though so I'm gonna leave that there okay next step is to proceed as normally with drawing a pitched roof on one side so I'm gonna start on the left hand side here draw an X on that side remember an X on a rectangular square in perspective gives you the center of that square or rectangle in perspective and then you take a vertical up and decide how steep you want your roof to be where do you want the top pitch of that roof to be 
um, I'm going to have it right there and I'm going to keep it pretty tall and then draw the corners down to um, the bottom of the building there so we get the establish the frontmost triangle and then we recede that line back to that vanishing point for the top of the roof okay and now if we come over to the right hand side and we're like okay well this is pretty straightforward I'll just do the same thing on the other side draw an X take my vertical line up and then we run into problems because now we can draw a line here but we don't really know where should we draw it should it be down here should it be up here where does this line go there's no there's nothing that tells us where it should go um, and guessing is never a good idea you should never guess um, you should always try to find out where it should go so the way we find out where this line should go is basically to find the center of this intersecting square see how the footprint of this um, kind of uh, rectangular prism intersects the footprint of this regular rectangular prism and they intersect on the ground plane I'm going to highlight it in blue right at this square that's on the ground okay this kind of footprint right here that's the place where those pitched roofs are going to intersect so if we know that that's where the pitched roofs intersect we know that they need to intersect at the center of that space so that's why we draw an X on the ground to mark the center and now with the center established we can take a vertical line up to find where it hits that pitch roof that we drew and now we know that that is where the center should be that is where these lines are going to intersect so that is how you find how to finish this pitched roof idea so now we can take a line that intersects that point out to our point it looks like I pretty much guessed dead on I, I don't know how I did that must have been a must have been a fluke right there so and then we take the edges down to establish the lines and then there's actually one more line that we need too and I don't have the line drawn correctly there okay well it's gonna be kind of hidden but um, uh, well let me let me get let me darken in some of these lines here so you can see what's going on and then I'll show you which line needs to be drawn as well so here's the roof as we have it drawn so far just darkening in the guidelines and this is generally a good practice too to help your shape stand out make sure you keep your vertical edges in two-point perspective nice and straight okay and now um, as you can see the rest of what we have drawn here uh, is just guideline that's showing kind of the uh, interior space and so I'm going to go ahead and delete a lot of this so that you can clearly see the part that is still missing and needs to be drawn so I'm going to assume this is a solid shape okay so we're drawing an opaque shape and we are going to just go forth and erase the guidelines to give us our solid shape get rid of all that there and over here as well and so now it probably is glaring at you we need to draw the valley line the line that establishes um, kind of the corner of the intersecting lines and so you can probably guess what how you would do that you take a line from the topmost corner down to the bottom corner here and that's how you get that line for the angle of that line um, to establish the valley of the intersecting uh, pitched roofs.